Alright, so anyway, I kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. I slit the drum, made a slice in it wide enough for this to fit in. That falls down inside. Now I'll just tack that in place, weld it in place. I don't have to really do a lot, just a little bit here and there just to hold it. I'm going to have to fill that in a little bit. That's a little too big of a gap. But this side of the box is going to be outside anyway. So from here in will be inside the box, inside the heat box. Uh, but the fire box itself, this is going to be on the outside. So if it leaks a little bit, I don't care. Um, so, but uh, I'll, I'll do what I can to get a, a decent weld on it. So I'm going to do another one over here, another one across the top, and one across the bottom. And then I'll paint it black, I guess, just to make it match. And that'll just fit right on there just like that. And the other one will be over here, and then across the top, another one across the bottom, and we are done. And believe it or not, I'm cutting that stock. I think I told you, that's some thick stuff. I'm cutting that with the same blade that I have been using to demo this whole garage and to build with this whole garage. This blade has been used whoops this blade has not been changed this is the same blade and this saw that I started with and I've been cutting through everything with that asbest, asbestos not asbestos but uh, asphalt shingles uh, nails wood aluminum uh, you name it dirt rocks and that blade is still hanging in there uh, other than that I'm gonna call it a day alright this may be noisy it may shake around the noise will probably shut down the camera noise so don't worry about it but this is what I've been doing I'm doing it the hard way and I'm still using that blade seem to have followed me. Now I gotta do one more right there but I won't bother you guys with that. Alright so that's where we're at so far. I just got to straighten that up a little bit because it's got a little cant to it so I just gotta bend it up a little bit. Not a big deal. <coughs> gotta get a measurement on the cross so I can get a crossbar in. Take care of the top part. And the bottom part, all I'm going to do is just take a piece of stock and slide in here, and uh, flat stock, <coughs> excuse me, and not even worry about it, and just tack it. <coughs> Actually, no, I'm going to have to put a, I got to channel it in back here. Uh, let me get the camera going again. Let me look through the screen instead of me looking there and the camera over here. So, so anyway. I'm going to have to put a channel in this one like I did with these sides. Um, but down here, because it's so close, I can just put a piece of flat stock just enough to cover and bolt in and not worry about it. So, And then uh, i got to open it up and cut out the inside. And uh, that's about it. So, And then uh, get the old MIG out and uh, start tacking it in place. So... So that's where we're at so far, guys. Like I said, I just got to get that cant out. I got to tilt it just a little bit. A little bit. And then get that done. Makes a lot of noise, though. Oh, I'm telling you, cutting with that, you know, between the die grinder cutting, the cutting wheel, and the uh, sawzall with the demo blade in it. And that's still the same blade. Uh, I've cut this stock with it. And you can see how thick that stock is. It goes right through it. And uh, like I say, I've demoed the whole garage and rebuilt the garage using that one blade so far. And uh, it's still holding up. Anyway, uh, it makes a lot of noise though because this is so hollow. 
Uh, and uh, I really don't want to disturb my neighbors too much because I got neighbors, if you can see in those trees right there, uh, probably, that's probably about 100, 125 feet away from me. And I know they're hearing it. Now I got neighbors on the other side of me too, but I think all this is stopping the noise from being so harsh over there. So, and they're pretty good. I mean, as long as they're not working nights and trying to sleep days. So, but other than that, I really don't know. So, uh, what do I got to do? I got to uh, get a measuring tape. I got to measure that and uh, start getting ready. Uh, anyway, I got to cut that off and then I got to cut 11 inches. So, put it in the vise. It's always the easiest way. That would have been the easiest way. Yeah. Yes. That would have been the easiest way to do it. Why did I not do it that way? I don't know. I need 11 inches here. 11, 11. 11? 11. 11. Ah, which way do I want to do this? Because no matter which way I do this, I'm going to be doing it the wrong cut. Even on this side. So I might as well keep it on this side and uh, do it the hard way. Let me move it out a little bit more. So, which means I have to move this out. See how close they are? Well, that's because I was tight for room. However, though, what I had done was, and I showed this once before, I uh, put this on a slide out. So it slides out, giving me, if I get the air hose out of the way, giving me all the room I need to put this in place. Okay. So, and if I got a buffer, grind something, that's, uh, uh, tighten that up, that's um, longer, I just pull it out. It's on a wheel, it's on a slide, it's on tracks, cutting in two bar, and you cut in blah, blah, blah into the two by fours. <laughs> Done deal. So, all right, I'm gonna cut this at 11 and I'm gonna turn it off. All right, so now we'll go out here and see what we got. Oh, that'll fit. Just a, a hair off, but that's not a problem because that'll fit right in there. Well, I gotta slice it. <clears throat> me. Gotta slice this right about there. So I gotta put a mark on it. So let me go get my marker. Let me make some marks. Let me make some cuts. And uh, let's see what I wanna do here. Well, now I gotta do a little welding. So uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, the 30 amper plug is way up there because I haven't had a chance to put one in back here just yet so uh, I've got a bunch of these so hopefully well this one will make it I know uh, hopefully I don't end up with too much loss which I don't think I will because uh, I don't want to wreck the, the welder so uh, this should make it up there well it will make it to there it should be heavy enough because I'm only going to run just this one uh, and then I made this one here up uh, also uh, so 
so I can plug everything into it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get that run and get the cords plugged in and uh, see what I got to do with that drum. And it still has a little oil in it, so this ought to be interesting. Uh, I should try to clean that a little bit, so I should get the, uh, the wire wheel out on the drill and clean it. If I want it right. I mean, I just got to tack it, really. I don't have to do the whole seam. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I should clean it. Or just run the welder a little hotter. I don't know. Let me clean it. Otherwise, I'm going to put snot all over everything. So, let me get that clean. Uh, there we are so far. Now, I just tacked it a few tacks across the side. Uh, you know, just to get it to hold. Uh, I'll, I'll probably run a bead on it, but I'm going to have to clean that down quite a bit. Uh, it was hard even trying to tack it, so... Uh, but she's holding, so she's in there. If I don't tack it, it's not, if I don't run a bead, it's not going to make a big deal. But at that point, uh, yeah, I'll put a few more on there just to, just to make sure. But there we are. She's in place and uh, bolted down. I also, I put six bolts in it, but the four corners, I actually welded the corners in. Because you know what? If I get two or three years out of that drum, and I want to do it again, I'll buy another door for 50 bucks. So, but that's where we're at. Oh, and it's starting to cloud up a little bit, getting a little wet. And that was also stopping me, because naturally when it's raining, you know it's going to get wet. And that's what happened. So... Uh, so you're trying to weld and uh, raindrops keep falling on your head <laughs> so all right it's probably close to 3 30 or after so I am going to close it down and uh, call it a day what I do want to do though is uh, I just want to pick up some of these uh, clamps so I don't lose them. And then that's it. Uh. So anyway, we're moving along. I told you I got that working with the camera. The uh, Amtrust. A-M-C-R-E-S-T 1080p. And I'm having a problem with this battery again. I took it down there. He plugs it in and says, hey, it was just the battery's got a blah, 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 blah. Uh, I shouldn't have a problem. Well, you know what? I'm having a problem again with this one fuck, excuse me, this one battery. It does not want to take a charge. So 